Welcome to another episode of Paragon's Favorite Stuff. In this show, I tell you about all of the things that I've found most useful in my 27 years of living aboard sailboats and voyaging all over the Atlantic. Thank you for all of the great comments you made in our last video about the Omnia oven. In case you miss that one, then click on the link right here to get caught up. Today, we're going to answer a question that we get asked a lot. How do you do laundry? When I first started living aboard a Hunter 30 sailboat back in 1994, I got a year-round lease in a wonderful marina in Boston called Constitution Marina. One of the many things that made that marina so great was that they had a laundromat with three good-sized washers and dryers. So for the eight years that I spent living aboard there, I never had to worry about how or where I would do laundry. Then I pushed off from Boston and spent the next six years sailing all over the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and Venezuela. During those years, I rarely had access to a laundromat where I could wash my clothes. In many places, there were laundry services that would wash, dry, and fold clothes, but they were always pretty expensive, and I just couldn't justify spending that much money every time I wanted to wash my clothes. If you look on the internet, you'll find a million different ways that people are doing laundry on their cruising sailboats. From simply washing clothes by hand in a bucket using a plunger, to putting clothes in a watertight dry bag with water and soap and throwing the bag around, to using a dizzying number of portable compact mini washing machines that you can buy on Amazon. Really, just go search Amazon for portable compact mini washing machine and you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to tell you what I did from the beginning and all the way up to what we're doing today. For all those years in the Caribbean, I spent 100% of my time living at anchor. I had a couple of solar panels but no gas-powered generator. So having any kind of washing machine aboard that ran on electricity wasn't really an option because I couldn't really power it. I also didn't have a whole lot of extra room on my little 32-foot sailboat to store extra stuff. So any kind of contraption that I had aboard to help me clean clothes had to be really compact. Finally, I didn't have a water maker, and my onboard water tanks only held 100 gallons total. To minimize the number of trips I'd need to make to ferry fresh water in the dinghy back to the boat at anchor, I needed a way to clean clothes that didn't use a lot of fresh water. I ended up getting a product called the Wonder Wash, and I think it worked great. The Wonder Wash is an inexpensive, compact, hand-operated washing machine that uses no electricity. I used one to clean all of my clothes for over six years, and I think it's a pretty ideal product to use on a cruising sailboat, especially if you don't have access to electricity and want to conserve on water. Now, when I sold my previous sailboat, I included the Wonder Wash in the sail. So for this video, I'm going to show you some footage of it that I got from the company that sells it. To wash clothes, you open up the lid, put in your dirty clothes, add some detergent, and then pour in some hot water. Then you put on the lid and crank the handle. As the contents get shaken up, the hot water expands and creates a lot of pressure. This pressure does a great job of dislodging the dirt from the clothes. After cranking the handle for just a couple of minutes, you're done with the washing. You then open up the valve in the bottom to let the dirty water drain out. Then you add more water for rinsing. Give it a few more turns and drain again. Now the clothes are rinsed. You take the clothes out, wring out as much water as you can by hand, and hang them up to dry. I think the Wonder Wash is a great product because it does a good job of cleaning, uses very little water, and is pretty compact. 
I've got some great memories of those days of living at anchor in the Caribbean with my laundry hanging to dry on the lifelines in the warm trade wind breezes. After eight years of living aboard my Wessel 32 sailboat, I finally sold it and purchased my current boat, a Wessel 42 named Paragon. With the much larger boat, we had so much more space aboard, which changed a lot of things, especially when it came to doing laundry. After I bought Paragon, I spent three years making all kinds of renovations to the boat. One of the really big ones was to install a combo washer dryer made by an American company called Splendide. We installed the washing machine right here on the starboard side in the bow section where there used to be a hanging locker. We've now used this washing machine for all of our laundry aboard Paragon for the past 12 years straight. And after thousands of washes and tens of thousands of nautical miles of voyaging, I can definitely say without any hesitation that installing this was one of the best things I ever did for the boat. There's a lot to go through here. The Splendide combo washer dryer itself is very compact, measuring only 24 inches wide by 34 inches high and 22 inches deep. The company markets it as the washer dryer that will fit in spaces where others won't and says that it's suitable for being used in RVs and boats or any place where space is at a premium. The Splendid washer dryer can wash and rinse a load of laundry up to 15 pounds and only uses between 7 and 18 gallons of fresh water depending on the type of wash cycle you choose. It can also dry the clothes automatically as soon as the washing cycle completes. There are two versions of the machine available, with the difference being how the machine dries clothes. There's a vented version, where the dryer runs heated air through damp clothes and then exhausts that air to the outside. And there's this ventless version where the dryer condenses steam from the damp clothes into water and then pumps that water out the drain. A downside of the ventless version is that it actually uses about two and a half gallons of water per hour to dry a load of laundry. But I still chose to purchase the ventless version because I didn't want to install yet another big hole in the deck for the hot air exhaust that the vented version would require. But we rarely ever use a drying function, as I'll explain in a minute. First, installing the machine was no small task, and it took a long time to design how we'd install it and then build out the installation. We had to demolish this area of the boat down to the fiberglass hull, and then glass in custom carpentry to hold the washing machine in place. We glassed in a thick plywood bulkhead behind the washing machine and then secured the washing machine to the bulkhead using these webbing straps. The webbing straps are tightened behind the washing machine using stainless steel ratchets. Also, I bolted in these three pieces of wood. They're through bolted to the bulkhead, through bolted to the cabinetry here, and they're there as just like an extra safeguard to make absolutely sure that there's no way that this washing machine could move in the worst of weather that we would encounter offshore. On the back of the washing machine, there are three hose connections. Two of them are freshwater inputs, and one of them is a dirty water output. This hose connection is for cold, fresh water coming from our tanks. This hose connection is for hot water coming from our freshwater tanks, but going through our hydronic boiler so that we can wash with hot water. Also, you can see back here, we've got this stainless steel ratchet that's securing this upper webbing strap that's securing the washing machine to this bulkhead. The third hose connection is on the bottom of the washing machine for the dirty water output. I connected it to a hose which I routed behind these drawers and then behind this bulkhead which is the sail locker and then behind these lockers and then over to this 
little port where it drains out into the sink and then goes overboard. One of the things that I'm most impressed by by the Splendide washer dryer is the fact that it's still working even after 12 years of full-time use and thousands of wash cycles. I've found it to be an incredibly reliable machine. There was this one time when it stopped draining and then of course we couldn't use it anymore because the water wasn't draining out of it. I called Splendid Tech Support and after some troubleshooting they told me that while it rarely ever happens maybe somehow the drain pump had failed. So I ordered a new one from them. They gave me instructions on how to replace it. And then when I went to replace it, I discovered that there was a little piece of cloth that had somehow gotten stuck inside the old drain pump. I removed the cloth and then it worked just fine again. So I didn't need to replace it after all. Now I have a spare in the spares locker, which I'll probably never need, but it's good to know that I have it. For power, the washing machine runs off of our 110 volt AC inverter. Now, if we're not on shore power, then we usually can run the wash and spin cycles with our solar panels and wind generator. But for a few reasons, we never run the drying cycle. Number one, the drying cycle draws way too many amps to run off of our batteries if we're not hooked up to shore power. Number two, the dry cycle uses a lot of fresh water to dry a load of laundry. It uses at least two and a half gallons of fresh water per hour, with an average load taking about 60 to 90 minutes to dry, longer if there are towels or other heavy items. And the third reason is because we found that it's just a lot easier to dry our clothes by hanging them up, regardless of what the weather is. We either hang our clothes up outside if the weather's nice, or we've got a great system for hang drying our clothes right here inside the boat, as I'll show you. Let's do some laundry. Right over here on the port side, we have this huge locker, which we use as a dirty laundry hamper, conveniently located directly across from the washing machine. Let's do some laundry. Laundry day on Paragon. They say that you can wash about 15 pounds of clothes at a time, but I usually just, like I never actually weighed it, I just fill it to about three quarters of the way full and that seems to work really well. All right, we're gonna close the door. The soap goes in here, and I've got this little tablespoon here for measuring the soap. It takes two tablespoons of laundry detergent to wash one load of laundry. Here's one, and two, power on the machine. All the lights blink, and this one blinks red. And then I make sure to set the dry time to off so that it doesn't dry ever. And then you can set your wash cycle here. I've got all these options, but I always keep it on number three for regular. So it'll wash, rinse, spin, and that's it. So let's get started. Now that the laundry's going, let's take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes on a huge variety of topics. If there's a particular skill that you want to learn, then you'll probably find a class on it at Skillshare. Most of the classes are under 60 minutes long. Every class has a discussion forum where you can converse with other members and a project where you can submit your work for feedback. I just took a fantastic class called YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. 
The class was created by one of my favorite tech review YouTubers, Marcus Brownlee, otherwise known as MKBHD. In the class, Marcus explains his step-by-step -step process for creating YouTube videos, from scripting and storyboarding to shooting and editing. I found the class fascinating and inspiring. And I was especially thrilled to learn some new editing techniques that are definitely going to improve my own videos. The first 1,000 people to use our link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. What new skill would you like to learn? Click on the link in the video description and start your free trial today. Okay, back to laundry. From here, it takes about an hour for the washing machine to do a load of clothes. It goes through the wash cycle. You know that because the wash cycle light is lit. One hour later. And that's it. The clothes are done. They've been washed, rinsed, spun, and now they're ready to be hung up to dry. I usually do laundry about once a week. And between me and Mo, by then we usually have between three or four loads of laundry to do in one night. But for this video, we're just going to do this one load. And conveniently located in this drawer, we have a bag of clothespins. Okay. We usually hang our clothes up in the salon and then run a dehumidifier overnight to dry them. So this is how we've dried our clothes while staying in marinas all winter long in Iceland, Ireland, and Scotland. And I think it works absolutely great. I installed these two pull-out clothes hanging line things up here. You just pull out this bar and it brings out these five lines. I bring the lines out to the other side. And then I attach the bar onto these hooks on the other side of the salon. After extending the line, then I turn this knob and press it in to tighten the lines. Now these lines are taut. With both of the bars extended, we've got 10 lines for hanging up clothes, which is enough to hang up about four loads of laundry at a time. Okay, let's hang up some laundry. This is a desiccant dehumidifier. We use it to dry the clothes overnight. And it's another one of those things that I'm so glad that we purchased because it really has made all the difference in the world. <laughs> Not only do we use it to dry the clothes, but I also use it to dry out the shower room after taking showers. And most importantly, to dry out all the condensation that builds up in the boat in the wintertime. This particular model is the EcoAir DD322FW Simple, and we bought it back in 2015 for about $200. It can extract up to 10 liters of moisture in 24 hours, even in temperatures as cold as 1 degree Celsius. You just set this switch to either quiet or turbo mode and then turn this knob to set the desired amount of humidity. The dehumidifier will automatically turn off when the room reaches that amount of dryness and automatically turn back on if it needs to. Unless I'm in a big hurry, I just leave it on the quiet mode because that'll have no problems drying all the clothes overnight. 
As it extracts moisture from the air, it fills up this three and a half liter water tank in the bottom, which you then take out and empty. By morning, this will be full of water. One of the great things about using a dehumidifier to dry our clothes in the salon overnight is that it can dry as much clothes as we can possibly hang up in the salon at one time. Maybe four, maybe even five loads of laundry. If we were using the washer dryer's ability to dry clothes, well, it takes like an hour and a half for it to dry a load of laundry. So it's just a lot easier to just do four washes in a row and hang it all up and then it's all dry by morning. Good morning. I just woke up and the clothes are completely dry and ready to be folded and put away. So that's how we do laundry on Paragon. If you'd like more information about the Wonder Wash, the Splendide washer dryer, or the EcoAir desiccant dehumidifier, then check out the links that we've included in the video description. Do you do laundry aboard your boat? Please tell us how you do it in the comments below. And if you like this video, then please don't forget to click like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.